All right. Um, let me see. Um, okay. Well, actually, let me. Well, let me give you my clap. Very good. Excellent, guys. Okay, let's go on to the next one. The next group is Marvin and Wendy. Okay, Wendy, uh, Ray? Yes. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, my boss. And now we are a new product. It's a new model of children's shoes. Oh, really? Okay, but... What are the specifications? We are size from one to six with different children's driving. Oh, nice. But which driving are we going to use? We will, we will use eight cartons. Nice. Which material are we going to use? We go first quality raw material. Okay. But the final question, my boss, what color will be you, we use? Uh, mainly three colors, white, black, and blue. Okay, nice. I understand. To begin then. <laughs> Thanks. Excellent. All right. Bravo. Very good. Um, let me give... All right. Excellent, guys. Okay, good. All right. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I didn't hear very well. Did you use any imperatives? Did you Did you use any imperatives when you like give instructions? No, usaron? No, no, usaron? No. No, teacher. No. Okay. Okay. No problem. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys. All right. Let's go now to group number three, which is Manuel Alejandro and Yvonne. Okay, uh, teacher, our conversation is about the manufacturing process of men's underwear. Okay. Uh, hello, Mr. Molina. It's your first date at Balsamar Plant. My name is Miss Moreno, and I'm going to explain you the, the process to make men's underwear. Hi, nice to meet you, Miss Moreno. I'm, uh, I'm very happy to be here. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, first, uh, join the flies with the panel. Second, sew the elastic at waist. Third, sew the inseam. After that, Sew hem leg, then stamp the label in the garment, and finally, a quality control department check the quality of all the garments. Do you have any questions? Ah, okay. I see. I see the operations. It's a it's a long process, and the easy the easier easier. Operation is stamp the garment, and the hard operation is so panel. I can do it the process. Thank you. Thank you too. To you, to you, Mr. Molina. That's Thanks. all. All right. Very good, guys. Excellent. Okay. Um, first of all. Uh, very good conversation. I like that there was a lot of interaction between the two of you. Second, um, you use the imperatives where, very well. And third, I like that you were able to incorporate um, the steps, right? First, second, right? Um, next, finally. So that was great. That was like going the extra mile. So very good. Let me give you guys one of these very good okay thank you teacher you're welcome no thank you okay let's move on to the next um i have anna claudia and melissa yes teacher you want to start anna claudia 
Uh, I think we'll be better to start. <laughs> ah. <Whatever. laughs> okay. Hello, Miss Ana Claudia. Today is the first day at the restaurant. My name is Melissa, and I'm going to explain you how to make pepperoni pizza. Nice to meet you, Miss uh, Melissa. Please tell me what to do. Okay, first, take one bowl with dough, then bake it for five minutes. When the time is over, take it out of the oven. Then add cheese, tomato sauce, and pepperoni. After that, put it in the oven for 10 minutes. And finally, bring it to the table. Okay, I got it. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Excellent, girls. Very good. Okay. Again, a very good interaction um, among you two girls. Excellent. Uh, good use of the imperatives. And you were also able to combine. So you also deserve one of these. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Excellent. Okay. All right. Let's um, move on to group number five which is Edgar and Luis Ernesto. Okay, teacher. Um, Luis? Hey. Ready, let's go. Okay. Uh, good morning, uh, Luis. Uh, welcome uh, to the Pollo India Company. Now uh, you are in the processing plant. Nice to meet you, Edgar. I'm glad to work with you. We are going to, to start with the following instruction. First, we are going to know the products that uh, we are going to process in the wind plant. That's okay. Please explain me about the products. Uh, okay. Uh, second uh, instruction, uh, I need uh, you, you 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 to take a uh, note uh, of the product please okay can you give me a piece of paper and a pen please uh, sure the products we make are crispy queens of six and twelve units bag of of bread braid brace of uh, 25 uh, units Okay, I'm ready. Ready. Can you give me the next, please? Um, only, only, only an instruction. Okay, I get it. Okay. Thank you. Yes, that uh, teacher. All right. Very good, guys. Very, very good. Okay, lots of interaction among you guys. Excellent. Okay, bravo. You did an excellent job. Um, yes, I, I like that. I, I really, really like the fact that you are um, trying to um, go, like, not just stick to the simple station. You try, you try to incorporate lots of uh, new words and everything. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's okay. Go on to the next group, group number six, Katie and Carla. And Daniel, right? And Daniel? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I don't have him here, but okay. All right. Yeah. Daniel, Okay. Yes, yes. So I just didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, Daniel, can you tell me about the manufacturing process of a bike? Hello? 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 Sorry. Um, sure. Uh, first, uh, request raw materials, then reserve it with half the cost. When you receive the raw material, you store them in a warehouse. And where are the bikes assembled? The bikes are I assembled in the main bridge. And finally, the bikes 
are distributed in the um oh. branches um, first branches first okay that's it miss all right very good guys very good okay excellent guys um all right you're also incorporating lots of vocabulary and everything that's good very very good okay let's move on to group number oh let's see So what this was group number six, right? That just passed? No, 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 no. Group number seven. I don't ya me perdí. ¿En cuál grupo les dije que acaba de pasar? El seis. El seis. Ah, pues el siete. Okay. Javier, eh, so Francisco Javier and Manuel. Manuel de Jesús. Okay. Um, well, it's like a monologue. Monologue? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, hi, Manuel. Wow. Manuel? We need to begin the process for assembly shows again. I introduce you to make the process. Can you follow me, please? I explain you the process right now. Okay. Um, put the saw with the machine and put the leader over the saw. Add glue to the leader. Assemble the leader in the saw. Fasten this process to the sail machine. Press here and the saw together. The paint process. Go to shine process. It's okay, Manuel? Manuel, sorry, I, I don't know if it's just me or I, I don't know if I can, I can't hear Manuel. Uh, <laughs> Manuel, are you able to turn on the microphone or are you having problems with it? Okay. It's finished, okay. Oh, I don't know. It's it's weird. We can we can we can hear the sound that you're moving it, but we can't hear your voice. You want to talk right now? He's not talking. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, the headphones might work. Might be better. Okay. Oh. Yes. Uh, oh, perfect. Um, can, can I ask you guys to do it again so that we can hear the, the, the conversation as it should be? Uh, uh, we uh, describe it. Uh, the uh, the process uh, the manufacturing the uh, the the shoes uh, and bueno lo hicimos como un listado de de los del proceso de de fabricación de de zapatos no lo okay, todavía so no lo you didn't do a conversation mm, no no, no. Oh, okay. okay. All right. No problem. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. All right. And here is your applause. Excellent. All right. Let's continue. Um, group number eight. Josué Alberto and Soyla Nemi. Okay. Uh, good morning, Josué. Morning, Miss Noemi. Uh, Jose, please give instructions uh, to all operating 
operating staff? Of course. I would like to share with you some activities to try to do, like an operation uh, assistant operator. First, you should be able to Second, uh, everybody uh, needs to read the institutional email every day in the morning. Uh, then, send an operation report. Uh, next, check the maintenance schedules. Uh, after that, use a personal document chart. And finally, sing, sing aloud. Thanks. Is that only that? All right. Very good, guys. Excellent. All right. You also deserve an applause. Excellent. Okay. Great. And the last group we have is uh, Elsie and Warner. Okay, okay teacher. teacher. Uh, hi, Elsie. How are you? Hi, Warner. Um, so, equipment of fencing in the foyer, speci speciality, I'll implement our approval bid the International Fencing Federation. Uh, Werner, my daughter, by the equipment, what are the spe specification, please? Ah, great. First, we have the mass, the Owens, it is stamp of the 1016 uh, neuron of pression. Don't forget to check the code. It. Second, uh, uh, this the jacket are the matter from all the electrical conductivity. Uh, fabric and uh, and are uh, essential in foil and sable weapon, right? Don't forget uh, it is a metallic cloth, uh, right? E finally, the foil in the most common weapon, it is a uh, light and the flex. Uh, it uh, measures uh, uh, 100 10 centimeters and the weight and the 16 grams uh, uh, is um, uh, the, would you be the information? Thank you, Werner, for the specification of the material. I will give me my daughter to buy them. Okay, that's it. Teacher. All right, very good, guys. Excellent. Okay, very good. Also, a very good conversation. Lots of interaction there. Um, okay, lots of words. Excellent. Okay, so how do you feel there with the in, the in um, oh my yes, uh, with imperatives? How do you feel with that? Do you feel that you understand the imperatives, or are there any questions? Something you don't understand? okay yeah i i was just i just have a question you say yesterday when you seen them in negative always they are used uh, with the this together or beside with the don't uh right the negative sentence right that's right with negatives we always use don't so okay. don't don't do this, don't do that, blah, 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 right? Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure on that. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, all right, it's a, it's a just pa a little past nine, so we're gonna take again our attendance. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great. Andres. Andres, Giovanni? No. Edgar. Present teacher. Great. Janet. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Fabiola. Present teacher. Great. Francisco Javier. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Just two. Great. Um, Haiti. Present teacher. Okay, great. 
Irene. Irene? You say it in it? No. Okay. Uh, Josue Alberto. Present teacher. All right. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, great. Carla Cano. Present teacher. Excellent. Y Melissa. Present teacher. All right, Luis Ernesto. Present teacher. Uh, Manuel. Present teacher. Great. Manuel de Jesus. Present. Okay. Marvin. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Wendy. Present teacher. Great. Warner. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Noemi. Present teacher. All right. Yvonne. Present. All right, excellent. Daniel. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. No. Okay. Uh, Marlene. Marlene and Ricardo. Ricardo. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So the only people, so just to make sure I, I have it correct, uh, the people that are not here are Andrea Mani, Irene Azucena, eh, Jorge Alberto. Okay. All right, guys, let's uh, continue here with our class. Um, can you see this? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, guys, so we have here our conversation in which you're going to be answering these questions. Okay. Um, oops, sorry. The first question is, how is the manufacturing um, process in your company? What do you think about the, com the equipment at your company and does it need to be upgraded and why? So first of all, I want you, you're going to be discussing these questions with, um, with a partner, okay? So I'm gonna get you back into the same group and I want you to discuss this question, first one. How is the manufacturing process in your company? What do you what do you think about the equipment at your company? And does it need to be upgraded? Upgraded means that the company, like that the equipment needs to be better. Okay. Does it need to be upgraded? So is it need to be in a it need to be newer, more technologically advanced, whatever, right? Why? Or you could say why not as well. Okay. Got it? So I'm going to give you about, I would say about two minutes, or well, maybe three minutes, three minutes. It shouldn't take you very long. Okay. So you're going to go to your group right now. I'm going to get you to work with the same group as before. Um, just, I'm just going to reduce the time to three minutes. Shouldn't take you very long. Is it is everything clear? We understand. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So there you go. I'll go back to your same group. Hello? Ya? No me cambió. No le cambió. No. Ah, tú. Ah, ok. No, porque hay más de algo. Es un grupo. 
Um, sí, ajá. Quédense acá y hagan su grupo aquí. Ok. Ok, ok. No hay problema, teacher. Thanks. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Questions? Uh, uh, what is page? Uh, the exercise. Uh, the pig. The pig yeah. is um, page 15. Eh, oh, no, no, no. Vamos a Solo es responder, ¿verdad, Tich? Solo es responder, sí. Uh, me, no, ya, es que se me... Se sí, me... fixing, ¿eh? Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, sí. Okay. Yeah. Fifteen. Okay, Fabiola. Uh, we read. We read the conversation. Uh, hi. Teacher, can you explain us? Explain us, please. Uh, you just answering the questions. The questions that I showed you. You're just discussing those questions. Okay, but uh, ninguno de los dos copió la pregu las preguntas. It's on las, page las... 16. Sorry, 15. ¿En la página? Page 15. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Question. Uh... Ah, okay. ¿En qué página me ha La página 15. Aquí está. <laughs> Okay. Ready. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Yes. And uh, second, uh, the personal, specific personal, send the, the, the what do you say, Tela? I, I forgot. Nope. Close. Close. Okay. Parecido a cuando uno dice close de ropa. Close. Es, ajá, close. Parecido, pero solo dice las primeras letras. Close. Porque cuando close. decimos tela decimos ts y al final solo close. Close. Okay. Mm -hmm. The specific personal is send the close. Uh, the other personnel, the no sit down no in the in this saving machine, and uh, the many people uh, has a uh, women women mm -hmm. in my company. Okay. Um, she uh, saving and. The, the, the first, um, she save uh, the, where are you? you? No, uh, the, the body, the, the body, the teacher, the body, and the second, uh, And number one, we would make to would make to power electric generation. And we use uh, uh, fuel oil and diesel. Uh, this is not uh, this is not. Plus, plus, uh, and post, um, 
uh, another kind of packaging material for another company, yeah? Um, okay. The process is you, first, we have to shop raw materials. And then uh, the first process is uh, print, print the, the design. Okay. Uh, and then we use a rotogravure roto machines are a very, very high and big uh, printing machine. And then uh, we join the layers in a laminate machine. Let's let's invade on the space. It's okay. Oh. All right. Okay, guys. Um, there's no. It's just that, it's just that Daniel and Luis had had um, they were in this in the in the main session and they were that was their room. So now we have invaded. Embarrassing. <laughs> Embarrassing. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, um, how do you say consomme? Consomme. Huh? In English, uh -huh. Uh, broth. Right, broth. Is it? Broth. Spell it, please. Sure. <laughs> uh, right in the in the chat. Okay. Ah, okay. Broth. Oh. Mm -hmm. The one that I mean that is the do you mean that is the one before the principal meal? What do you mean? At the restaurants, at the restaurants, sometimes they offer. Oh, is uh, that maybe that's a soup. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's more a, like a soup. I thought that. The, yeah. I I thought Daniel were talking about the. Uh, la especie o el polvito. <laughs> la, la especia. El cubito ah, mal, vaya. El ah, cubito mal, la vaina es. Okay, el cubito mal. Yeah, you could just call it like the broth powder. Ah. It's a broth powder. Because that's what it is. Like it, we use the powder to make the broth. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. Okay. So now that you've talked a little bit about that. Um, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to ha see have this conversation between these wonderful two people that are um, co-workers. You know, they're at work and Peter and Bertha are having this conversation. Their conversation goes like this. Everybody repeat after me. Bertha. 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 I wanted to I wanted to make sure that you understand that this is not Bertha. It's not Bertha, not, not Bertha. It's Bertha. We we that's how we pronounce it in English. Bertha. Okay? Bertha. Yeah. Bertha. Make sure you understand that you know uh, your your names in english may not sound the same um as in spanish okay. for example ana claudia could you tell mm -hmm. me how, what is your name in english Anne and claudi but most common use is Anne. So okay. they call me Anne. they call you Anne, not mm -hmm. anna but Anne. Right, mm -hmm. and if they mention your second name, they're gonna say Claudia. Claudia, Claudia. like oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Claudia. The same thing. Some people do not understand me when I say Laura. And they say, mm -hmm. they say <laughs> right? It's a bird. A bird. No, that's how we pronounce it. It's not Laura. We say Laura in English. Laura. Okay. Uh, I have in my class here, I have somebody that's named Mar, um, or in English, or in Spanish it's Marlene, in English it's Marlene. Quien más veo que había una persona que cambió bastante, let me see. 
There's something else I remember. Picture in my case. Irene. Ah, yes, yes, exactly. I have an, uh, in Spanish, Irene. Very simple, very different from Irene, right? So, you gotta know that, that it's different, right? You don't pronounce it the same. And you gotta know, you gotta venga, venga, para donde va, pues. <laughs> you gotta know. <laughs> you gotta know exactly how your name is is pronounced, so that you do not miss your name. Like some people may be calling you and you don't know, right? So you gotta know what your name sounds like in English. Okay. Um, okay. So let's continue here. Do you think that our company? Do you think that our, our company, company should improve the manufacturing process? Should we improve the manufacturing process? process? Yeah. I believe so. I believe, I believe so. so. Why do you ask? Why do, Why do you ask? ask? Because if we do so, because, because we, we do, do so, so we reduce costs. We, we reduce costs. costs. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. I, I think, think that we should, we should do what other companies are doing. Are doing. Are doing. And that is? And that, and that is, is getting new equipment. Getting new, new equipment. equipment. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, we should not have the same machine. We should, we should, we should not have, have the same, the same, same machines. machines with the same programs. With, with the, the same, same programs. programs. We should be in the 21st century. We, we should, should be in the 21st century. century. Yes. Yeah, we should be in the 21st century. Good. Right. 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 Maybe we should talk. Maybe, Maybe we, we should, should, talk. should talk about that in the next meeting. About, about that in the next, the next, next meeting. meeting. Good. All right. Okay, guys, uh, any questions about this vocabulary? You can yeah. write in the chat, you can write any words that you don't understand. No. In the chat. If there's anything. Okay, uh, we will talk about the word should in a moment. Okay, okay. Um, so just give me a second. Anything else, any other words other than the word should? No? No. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Perfect. Okay. Just so I wanted to remind you of something. Notice it says here, I believe so. What does it mean when I say I believe so? Why is what what does that so mean? Uh -huh. I'm not sure about uh, an information, I guess. No, not really. Okay. Um, okay, let me make this easier for you. How would you say this sentence in Spanish? I believe Yo so. también lo creo. Oh. How would o, you o eso creo, teacher? No sé. o eso creo. Mm, getting close. We would translate this in Spanish as. Eso creo, Miss. Creo que sí. 
Mm. Creo que sí. So, the word so, valga la redundancia, um, the word so in this context means yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, sometimes we use the word so to mean other words, right? In this case, it means I believe it's, but we never say in Spanish, I believe yes. Okay. We say, I believe so. Mm. Okay. Um, it's just like if I do this, um, if I write the sentence, um, Um, do you, um, do you live in an apartment? If so, which floor? Do you live on? In this question, if I say to you, do you live in an apartment? If so, which floor do you live on? If you notice, we use if so. Si es así. Exactly. Si es así. Right? So the word so means basically if it's a that it's affirmative. Okay? Okay. Does that make sense? So sometimes that's what we call like a, a reduction, right? Mm. It's a reduction there. Okay. Got it? So basically, yeah. saying, if the answer is yes, that's what I say. If the answer is yes, which floor do you live on? So if you, you, you notice that the word so can be used in other ways. In this context, I mean, I believe that the answer, I believe that it's yes. Okay. Okay, good to know. Uh huh. Okay, any other word? Teacher, is similar. I say, I think so. Yeah, exactly. I, when you say, I think so, it's the same thing. It means I think that the answer is yes. Okay. Okay. Any Thank other? you. You're welcome. Anything else that you guys want to ask about? No? Okay. All right. So I'm going to get you to work in your groups. I'm, I'm, I'm going, sorry, in your pair, in pairs. And I want you to practice this conversation. So, Teacher, yes. In the next sentence, yeah. um, the context, uh, the word so, because if we do so, what do you oh, mean? yeah. Okay, good. Very good. See, that's what I'm saying. The word so can be used in so many different ways. Thank you for pointing that out. I forgot. I forgot that I wanted to explain that one too. So here, so means yes. Oh, hold on. Um, this one, so means yes. And in this one, because if we do so, in this case, in this case it means if we do the thing that we that we're talking about si lo hacemos así, porque exactly. si lo hacemos it's así. the same idea así right just like over here if so si es así so if we do so so, so it means because uh, porque si lo hacemos así okay that's what it means we reduce cost so so can be used as um a or like if says um basically it's the saying like if if we do it that way so it's like a reduction okay. reduction you say yeah it's like a reduction uh ah, okay. the whole thing because it means if we do so it means like if we do it like that okay 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 so now let's uh like i said work in pairs practice the conversation switch roles right so if you are Peter the first time, you're going to be Bertha the second time. Okay, shouldn't take you very long. It's on page 16, by the way, for those of you that i um, not sure where we are. Um, so 
give me one second. Um, okay, I think that's, again, it shouldn't take you long, okay? I'm going to give you two minutes just to read, okay? It's only for reading. All right, let's open the rooms. No, me, do you have any problems? I am Peter or you? I am? Uh... I don't take a picture. Don't have a conversation? Yes, yes. Do you have the book? Okay. Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. You are, a pe you are Peter? Okay. Okay. Uh, give me a moment. Okay. Uh, Bertha. Do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do, why do you ask? Because if we do so, we reduce cost. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. Are doing. 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 doing uh, are doing. And that is? Getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same should. machine. We should not have. We should not have uh, the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st uh, century. 21st. Uh, 21st century. Uh, century. Uh, century. 21st. Oh, okay. Excuse me. The, the okay. 21st century. Century. Right, maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. Okay. Uh, Berta, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you... Una que, perdón? Una de las tareas. Ajá, sí. ¿Cuál? Ya te voy a decir. Are you guys finished? Yeah. Then you in the main room. Okay. Okay, wonderful guys. So I think everybody had the chance to practice. Any questions about the pronunciation? No? no question. Uh, teacher, uh, okay. how, how do you uh, pronunciation? Uh, how do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Uh, because if we do so, You're, you did yeah. it? Yeah, because if you do, if we do so. Oh. Yeah, correct. Okay. Okay, good. All right, now, if you notice in the conversation, we have these words or these expressions that have been underlined, or sorry, no, sorry, not, not in the, um, put in bold. Bold. <laughs> in bold, yes. 
um, which are these ones. Should improve, should do, should be, and should talk. Okay. Now, the question is, what does that mean? Teacher, what do these things mean? like a suggestion. Teacher, excuse me? Yeah. The produce should is correct. Should. should 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 yeah the pronunciation is should um imagine let's imagine to be able to pronounce this correctly you should forget <laughs> you should forget about this l that l is oh should that l is uh silent so it's not oh. should it's not should, it's should. Oh, okay, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Should. And um, I would probably eliminate the O2. Should. Should. Oh. Okay, so the pronunciation is not should, it's not should, <laughs> but it's should. 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 Okay? So they, yes. because it's silent, those letters are silent. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. So anyway, um, so what I was saying was that they these are these. This is what we're going to be concentrating on today. Should using the word should. Now, what do, what does should mean? Well, let's talk about the meaning here. Um, Is it a suggestion? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I can if I say the cosa. I use it. Okay. okay, there it is. All right, so we're going to be using should and shouldn't. Should and shouldn't is used, um, should it says, should is a model verb to give advice or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. Okay, so give advice. You understand the word advice, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so to give advice or recommendation, that's another word, advice, recommendation, and to say what you think, is, what we think is right or it's wrong. So in other words, it's a good idea or it's a bad idea. Okay? And we can use the, the structure here is subject, plus should or shouldn't, plus the verb, plus the complement. Okay, and I'm going to hide this part. So this is the structure. Subject plus should or shouldn't, plus the verb, and then the complement. The verb is gonna be in the base form, okay? So there's gonna be no change to it, no, no S, no ing, no ed, nothing. Just the the base form, the way the original form of the verb. Okay. So example, we should upgrade our system. So in other words, it's like an advice. Okay. So we we follow the structure. Look, we is the subject, then we have should. Upgrade is the verb, and the complement is our is our system. The other one is, they should bring new equipment. They is a subject, should is right here, should. And then the verb is bring and complement is the equipment. Okay, oops. All right. Um, and then we have the words here. Uh, we should not continue with the same market. The word we is the subject, then we have should not, or, or shouldn't, is also, shouldn't. shouldn't is a contraction, that's okay too. So we should not, or we should not, or we shouldn't, and then we have the continue is the verb, the complement is with the same market. And then this company is a subject, should is over here, should, and then 
The verb is broad, and then complement its target. Okay, so that's the structure there. Any questions about that? No. I just have a question. Uh, when we use these um, model verb, the should, is there a way how you know these uh, sentences? For example, in the last class, we saw the uh, imperative sentence. So you see should, do they have a name like the model sentence or something like that? I don't know. Um, yeah, they are models. These model are sentence? Mm -hmm. Is that the way? Ah, okay. Thank you. Exactly. So, oh. So just so that we understand, we have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the subject, right? The subjects are here. Then we're going to be using the should or shouldn't or should not, okay, which is over here. And using should is like a very polite way to, I don't know, it, it, gives i th i have that impression i don't know if it's correct that using these type of sentences is like uh, uh in a polite way we want something happen <laughs> mm. no not really okay um, so it, it, they are not too they are, they are polite but not the highest one i mean no, it's not about being polite. We're going to use should for any any structure here. So it's ah, about okay. being polite. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Teacher. Yeah. Um, the bear is the simpler form. The bear. Yeah, exactly. If the verb is going to be in the base form of the verb, no change to it. Okay. okay. No G, no EB, no. S, no nothing, no ES, nothing, okay? And then here we have the complement. The last part is the complement, which we use, and this one is our system. Here it's new equipment. Here it's with the same market. Here it's target. Okay, so there you go. Okay, teacher, thanks. Yeah. It doesn't matter if we use a third person, right? He, right. she. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And for example, this company is third mm -hmm. person singular, mm -hmm. but we still use the base form. The of the pair. Verb. Oh, okay. 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 So yes, okay. you're right. The, it doesn't matter what the subject is. It's always going to be the base form of the verb. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And here are some examples, more examples. Okay. So I've given you quite a lot of sentence, uh, sentences. I am not going to go over each one of them um, in, in the sense of, of, um, of highlighting, highlighting each one of them, because I think that you're able to do it by yourself. So we have, for example, I should study for the test tomorrow. So we have should and then the base form. You should try to lose weight. John should get a haircut. She should stop drinking too. Does her tooth still hurt? You should make an appointment with the dentist. I think you should study for the test so you don't fail. Your hair is too long. You should get a haircut. And you really should go to the new restaurant on May Street. So as you can see here, many of these are advice, but the other ones is saying like what you think is right or wrong for example um she should stop drinking too okay so that means that you're saying that what's that's what you think is right or wrong okay um and your hair is too long you should get a haircut if you're talking, for example, to a man, you may say that, okay, I think this is right, I think this is wrong. Um, a, and these are like, this would be like advice. You really should go to the new restaurant on Main Street. So you're giving the advice to go to the, to the restaurant. Okay. 
Um, anything else? I will shift. It's pretty clear with these sentences. Or are there any problems with them? Teacher? Yeah. Yep. I have a question. Sure. In the sentence, she should stop drinking too much. We can you we can use that form in the present progressive. Or is oh. is wrong here? It would be wrong. Yes. Okay. But in the in the case, teacher, the last one uh, that it says, but they shouldn't be all oh, the principal berries be here, right? Yeah. Doing this, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm right now I'm highlighting them so you guys can see what the verb is, mm -hmm. and you will notice that all the verbs are, are in present. Not in present. No, it's not present. In, in, in the basic form. Base form of the verb. Okay. okay, see, so study, try, get, stop, make, study, get, go. All of them are in the base form. And it doesn't matter what the subject is. Like for example, John is third person singular and you, you say John should get, not John should get. Okay, mm -hmm. she should stop, not she should stop. Right? Okay. So it doesn't matter what the subject is, it's always gonna be the same. The same over here. These are the ones with the negative, right? You shouldn't watch a lot of TV. She should not buy that old car. So here we have shouldn't, it's a contraction. Here we have the full form, should not. Children shouldn't stay out after dark. So it means you're saying, you believe that that's a bad idea, okay? One shouldn't impede others' progress. Do you understand the word impede? No. Very similar to Spanish. Right? Impedir? Impedir, exactly. Uh, yeah. We shouldn't be indulgent towards his mistakes. You guys understand indulgent, right? Very similar to Spanish. How do you say in Spanish? Indulgente. Indulgente, exactly. You shouldn't be indulgent towards his mistakes. One shouldn't judge a book by its cover. This is an, an expression to judge a book by its cover, which means that um, to go by the first impressions, right? Um, by just what you can see. You shouldn't Im impose on his good nature. What is impose? Again, imponer. Imponer. Poner, exactly. Ah, poner. Imponer. 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 Okay. Um, but they shouldn't be doing this, okay? So again, I'm going to highlight the verbs and we shouldn't. Talking about uh, verbs that they sound or uh, are the same in Spanish, today I saw one content is used uh, the same as content or happy. It's not a verb, it's, it was a, ay, ay, it was not, ay, como se llama? Estaba diciendo que, que la gente estaba contenta y se usa así, content. Tengo esa pregunta. Content. Contenta, sí. De, 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 ¿Cómo se llama? Es este... Sí, contento, ajá. Así yeah, se, se usa. But, but um, yes and no. What it means <laughs> is, um, yes, yeah, you can use the word content, that's fine. But content means kind of like satisfied. Ah, ok. Which is, it's the same meaning in Spanish, porque también contento puede... Eh, puede significar que uno se como satisfecho. Se ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Me, me extrañó verla, gracias. Pero, pero no, no, not contento de happy. Es satisfecho. It's more satisfied. Mm -hmm. ah, exactly. Ok, gracias. Ok. All right. So there you go. The same thing. Shouldn't or should not, and then the base form, the verb, independent of the subject. Because here the should. She should not buy. No, you don't say she should not buy. Right? You, or you, you never say you shouldn't watch him. Okay? Sounds good? 
Yes, I understand now. Questions? Okay, let's put it into practice. So, um, all right, so here we have these sentences, five sentences. All you got to do is choose should or shouldn't. So that's this shouldn't, this shouldn't take you very long. Do you guys have any questions? Por cierto, aquí hay un error de dedos. Solamente les quiero mencionar para que no se me confundan. Okay, so I'm going to change it right now. Okay, uh, so over here, it's, it should be employees with a double E, not double S. Okay. Okay, are you guys finished? Do you need more time? No. Finish. Finish. Okay. All right, first one, our products, um, let me ask different people. Uh, Luis Ernesto, could you give me the first one? Yes, you can. Should be fresh. Good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Next, we'll have Wendy. Wendy, can you give me number two? This company should forget about quality. Like this? This company should. 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 Should or shouldn't? Oh, no. so shouldn't. 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 Oh, okay. shouldn't. Good. Shouldn't. All right. Excellent. Shouldn't forget about quality. Good. Excellent. Um, okay. Let's see. Next, we'll have Katie. Shouldn't. 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 We should explore new markets. Like this? Yes. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Um, let's have um let's see Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro? The machinery shouldn't be old. Good, shouldn't be old. 
All right. Very good. And finally, the last one, we'll have, um, let's see, um, Daniel, could you help us? How do you say, um, sorry, teacher, the pronunciation of the player? Right? No? Sorry? Employees. 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 Yes. Employees. And shouldn't use the machinery. Okay. All employees shouldn't use the machinery. Yeah. Is that what what you said? Yes. Okay. Good. Very very good. Um, okay. All right, there you go. Excellent, guys. All right, so that's the answers. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to write a six line paragraph about the company, uh, sorry, about the equipment at your company. So think about your company. What is the equipment at your company, including computers and things like that? Um, you should and should not. So talk about, let's make advice. Let's give advice about the, the equipment in your company, okay? So go ahead right now. Um, I'm gonna give you a chance to write the six the six line paragraph. Okay. So this individually, this you're gonna work in individually right now. And while you are doing that, while you're writing about the equipment in your company and the suggestions that you give, what you think is a good idea and what is bad, I'm going to be taking attendance. So, um, Ana Claudia? Here, teacher, present. Wonderful. Andre Giovanni? Andre Giovanni? No. Okay. Okay. Um, Edgar? Present, teacher. Great. Uh, Janet? Present. Great. Fabiola. Present. Chef. Good. Francisco. Present. All right. Good. Uh, Heidi. Present. Great. Um, Irene. Irene. No. Uh, Josué Alberto. Teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Juan Francisco. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Um, Carla Cano. Present. Good. Liliana. Present, teacher. Good. Luis Ernesto. Yes, teacher. All right, Manuel. Alejandro. Present teacher. Great. Manuel de Jesus. Present. Okay. Marvin Wilfredo. Present teacher. Great. Wendy. Present teacher. Great. Warner. Present teacher. All right. Is uh, Sol uh, Naomi. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Good. Daniel. Present teacher. All right. Jorge Alberto. No, Jorge Alberto. Marlene. Marlene? No? Okay, and Ricardo. Ricardo? Okay. All right, guys. ¿Cómo vamos?
questions? Um, if you are finished, great. If you are not finished, then that's going to be your homework for Monday. Okay? You have to finish that for Monday. So have it ready for Monday at the beginning of class. Acuérdense que tienen hasta hoy en la noche para poder completar ahí lo lo que corresponde a esta semana, eh, los, los, uh, las tareas 1, 2, 3 y 4. Ok, vamos a estar revisando ahí mañana, si es que tienen hoy hasta la medianoche. Ok, questions? Eh, teacher, with the platform usage, eh, I understand you are going to write a discussion topic and we are going to follow up on it or we can write any topic? How does it work for you? Um, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be writing the, 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 um, the discussion um, topics. We'll do that um, this weekend. So you can ah, okay. do that on Monday. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. Okay. All right, guys, um, so that's going to be all for today. And I'm going to just stay with, um, with Janet. Janet, are you going to be able to stay? Sorry, teacher. ¿Puede quedarse hoy? No, teacher. No, OK. Bye. ¿Hay alguien más que le gustaría quedarse? No? Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, in that case, guys, um, so I will see you on Monday. And uh, don't forget um, to do the homework, okay? And I'll see you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy yourselves. Recharge your, your batteries so that on Monday we, como dicen, con todo, okay? All right, so take care and um, enjoy. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. See you. Good night. See you Monday. See you Monday. See you Saturday. <laughs> you, you're you're going to stay connected until Saturday. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care, Nani.